Wait, let me get this straight. Oi, what's your language? Who are you calling straight? Mm -hmm. You thought he was your blind date? Oh, we've been over this, dear. Change the record. It's like Groundhog Day. <laughs> Groundhog Gay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm a bit slow on the uptake at times. And yet, at other times, a very quick learner. Oh, tell me more. Hey, don't listen to him. He's got a filthy mind. What, and you haven't? How disappointing. It's no right, mate. Yeah, till you drifted. Uh, yeah, chance to be a fine thing. Well, maybe tonight's your lucky night. <laughs> well, I, you know, I've been a bit out of the game and that, you know. Not joined any apps yet. You know, the dating sites, I think my head's a bit too mashed. Who needs apps? Sometimes proper, I don't know, bumping into someone in a bar. It's ten times better. Well, I'm no pruder out. I think I read that on the toilet wall. Mm. But first dates, oh, they fill me with dread. I mean, it's nice to have something to look forward to, but the closer they get, I just want to jump on a train and join the Foreign Legion. <laughs> and are you still going, the Foreign Legion? Well, obviously, you're asking the right person, because I know all there is about military stuff the world over. I don't know. They're the ones with the big flaps on the back of the caps. No idea. It's not all bad, though. No? And you know what it's like? The minute you stop looking for a fella, that's when one falls in your lap. You are not going to fall into his lap, Jimmy. That is astonishing behaviour. Hey, have you never heard of the two-metre rule? <laughs> Need some more drinks in. Right, save again, Paul? Yeah. Please, yeah. Jimmy? No, I'll get them, seeing as I'm a pig crusher. Well, don't stint on the margaritas, baby. Never stint where alcohol's involved. We should get some table service. Where is the dude, anyway? Oh, Neely. Neil! Did you just say dude? Uh, yeah, I did. And me, an avowed homosexualist. When will I ever stay on brand? Where is he? <laughs> she said, I'm the same height as Kylie Minogue, though. <laughs> I said, Mother, you might be five foot nothing, but the similarity ends there. <laughs> I have heard a murder in your disco needs you after too many flaming Zambukas down the night's head. And believe me, it ain't pretty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Problem? I've got a shoe. It's been mum. Someone's come up at home. Ah, oh, just starting to enjoy myself, eh? Well, you stay? No, I'll come with you. Oh, well, stay, keep me company, P man. Yeah, go on. Stay and have a laugh. Really? Drinks are on me. Come on. You stay put. Enjoy the rest of your night. Well, what's the matter with you, man? Oh, it's a bit personal. I can't really get into it, but... I've got to stop at Fresh Coast Pharmacy to pick up a few bits, so... Anyway, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't leave much. <laughs> I'm sure you'll think of something. You know, you two make a great pair. <gasps> Did I just say that out loud? Naughty Todd. Bye, mate. Bye. <laughs> And then there were two. Oh, she's off. She is. Are we boring you, Eileen? Uh, a bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to get home and make a moustache get cracking. Right, where's my mask? Spike, get cracking. Do you mean bobbing it in the microwave? <laughs> no, I reckon she's going back for that bottle of leaf from in the fridge, more like. And they're making garlic breads as well. Mm -hmm. oh. Now, you do realise that they have to be made in the oven also. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that is the, uh, you know, that thing in the kitchen that you said looked like a complicated cupboard? Yeah. The cupboard with knobs on. I don't have to listen to this. <laughs> Leaving so soon. But I've been here for hours. I know. There was a vague air of sarcasm in the question, but it's good to know you pack your bag as soon as you look at me. Well, everyone wants a bit of me, but you can't have me company. I'm making a massacre. And anyway... What? These two are picking on me. <laughs> well, you couldn't have them in a fight. Pair of wusses. I'm making a massacre. And some garlic bread, if you fancy. You did mention it, Mummy dearest. The M-bomb has been well and truly dropped. I'm a very good mummy. Well, count me in, Mum or I. Count me in. I thought you were leaving. Yeah, see you, Eileen. Doors that way. I'm being bullied. <laughs> What's the world coming to? I'm being bullied by a man of the cloth. <laughs> Who's a fight, Sean? Coming right up, Cocker. Miss Paul, I thought he was with you. Yeah, he was. No, he's not. Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. Just left him in the mood to party at some swanky hotel in town. Is he on his own? No. Who's he with? I didn't get the name and number. What well, am I, track and trace? It's something you're not telling me. Well, there's lots I'm not telling you. I mean, I haven't told you about that holiday that I went to Wales when I was ten. Um, I haven't told you about... About, about Paul! <laughs> Take a chill pill, Bill. You're obsessed. <laughs>